Happy Friday, everybody! As you guys know, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for a new pocket camera, which we had the G7X, the Canon G7X, and we sent it back because it was having focusing issues. They tried to repair it and they couldn't do it, so they gave us our money back. And we ordered the G7X Mark II, and we've been waiting for it. And now, it has arrived! So, let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. Let's see how it works. So here it is, the box for the G7X Mark II, just in black. Nothing real crazy about it. Uh, Digix 7, which is the processor. A one inch CMOS, 20.1 megapixels, 24 millimeter wide angle lens, f-stop of 1.8 to 2.8, Wi-Fi, near field communication, lots of stuff. HS is... I think that that's the stabilization system. No, that's IS. I don't remember what HS stands for. It's one of their, one of Canon's proprietary things. So let's open it up and see what it looks like inside of there. Ooh, yeah. So let's see, we've got a warranty card. We've got the owner's manual. And then we've got a nice piece of cardboard. Let's get out the wrist strap next. The battery charger. Which, this uses the same battery that we had before, which I think... What is this? Ah, just a UL warning. Uh, the same battery that was in the Canon G7X, the first one, which is the NB13L. So the good news is we have a lot of extra batteries of these from when we had the G7X. And now we'll have an extra charger. Now let's get down to the meat and potatoes of it. There it is. The exterior of it is not much different than the actual, the first G7X. So it's fairly similar to the G7X Mark I in its form, in the fact that it has the control ring. This one, however, has the ability to have it set to click or if you flip the switch it doesn't click so I don't I, I mean that's just a preference thing I'm always gonna have it not click it has this little front thumb rest for when you're shooting for you to be able to grab onto it a little bit better a little pop-up flash just like the G7X but this one it looks like can be tilted back to bounce off the ceiling that was one of the things that the Sony could do that the Canon couldn't do. Uh, two microphones in the top, stereo, a little speaker in the center there, a little exposure setting where you can adjust the exposure just by turning this knob. One of the most important things about the G7X Mark II is that unlike the G7X Mark I, it has a more articulated screen. The G7X Mark I would flip up like this so that you could see yourself when you're taking a picture, but the G7X Mark II also can tilt down so that you can hold it over your head and see the image on the screen. Still a touch screen and all that other good stuff. So yeah, let's turn it on and see how it looks. Wonder if there's any juice in this battery. Oh, all right. Let me do all this first and then we'll get into it. So I kind of wanted to go over like one of the things that really always bothered me about Canons and the G7X did it. And this G7X Mark II does it too. I have a hard time, like, with focusing. So now I have it set to autofocus, right? And the control ring on the outside, which we were talking about, like this guy right here, was a great addition. Like, I wish that I could have it on more things because that's like a way to control things, like the focus, right? Here's the issue. As soon as we go into the control ring focus, it zooms way in so that you can focus but then it just stays in manual focus. So if you go into manual focus, in order to get out of it, I was thinking you would hit this autofocus button, but that doesn't seem to work. So in order to get out of it, you have to go over here to normal. So it's a little bit annoying. Like you have to remember six or seven steps if you're like, all right, enough with, this man with the autofocus stuff, I wanna do manual focus and it just it's just hard i just wish it was like manual focus oh okay you don't like that touch on the shutter and it'll be back in autofocus it's not how it works at least that's i haven't had that happen yet maybe let's see so manual focus 
All right, not good. Let me try touching on the shutter. Nope, stays in manual focus. So it's just not, not easy to do. Oh, well, that's my one complaint. Also, the, uh, the little ring around the outside is very, very sensitive. Like if you barely even click it, it'll zoom in on you. So that would be why I would leave it with the little clicker ticked on for the most part because that keeps it in place and then it doesn't shift into manual focus on you. So yeah, that's my review. It's, it's so far so good. We're gonna put a new battery in it and we're gonna take it to Target and give it a little test run. Officially switching over from the Sony to the Canon G7X Mark II right now. Here we are, we are now in the Canon G7X Mark II. There is a lot less information on the lens than I'm used to. Uh, the stabilization is better and it's a lot lighter than the Sony. The audio might be a little bit off. I don't know, I haven't heard this, but yeah, it's exciting to have a little camera as like a backup to the big camera, and it's good times. Yeah, let's go to Target. Yay, it's been so long since we've done this. We're going into Target. <laughs> you guys think if I like stood up on these podiums right here, they would know you're, you're not that, a I was, that I was not a mannequin. <laughs> I like how there's just M&Ms everywhere and they're all patriotic and then it's like, banana. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. Like I understand that you want to have like fun looking stuff around your house for like things, but the heck is that? It's a, it's a box. Is it? I think it opens. It no. says box. Why does it say box? Because I think it is a box. Oh no. I feel like that's For decorate, not food safe. In Zoolander, when they're trying to get into the computer. <laughs> what the heck? Those look fun. Why? So you can get as much dip as you would like. Like that's where you get all the dip. Look at that dip. Oh, I thought they were like straws. Like you just suck the dip up <laughs> through the center are. of it. Should we get them and like suck the salsa up? It's so weird. Actually, we shouldn't because our salsa is very spicy, so that <laughs> might be a bad idea. <laughs> Just leaving Target, look at the, how crazy this guy looks. I have a feeling this would look totally better in my, our other camera. Like, it doesn't look like bad through this camera, but I think it would look better through the other camera. Ding dang. All right, I've got both cameras running right now so that we can see if we can tell a good difference between the Sony a7S II versus the Canon G7X 2. So, Sony, here we are talking on the Sony. And the Canon, here we are talking on the Canon. So yeah, what do you guys think? Which one is better? I think I definitely like the Sony better. Like it is harder to hold and it's shakier, but I feel like it has a better picture and the audio is better. I don't know, it just feels better to use the Sony. Maybe it's because I've been using it for so long since we haven't had the Canon for what, like a month now? <laughs> I don't know. What did you get? I got my very first iPad. I never had one of these before. Look, and I got a really pretty case. Tim picked it out. Oh, I think I did something. Yeah, it, closed, it turns off every time you close the case. I'm watching Ancient Aliens. That's actually the reason why we got it, so that I can watch TV and not have to use the laptop for TV in the other room, so that if Tim needs to use the laptop, he can use it, and I won't be, like, hoarding it for television purposes, so... I can watch all my alien shows. I'm so excited. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a low light test on these two cameras. This is the Sony A7 with a, what do we have? We just have two light bulbs on in this, in our dining room here. And this is the Canon G7X Mark II with a little bit of low light. So this isn't like really low light, but it is a little bit low light. I don't know, what do you guys think? Which one looks better? Hmm. And so with that being said, fantastic having a new camera, like another pocket camera. It looks like it's working pretty good. It looks like it's working just about the same as the regular Canon G7X, but it has an articulated screen, an extra grip, and like maybe one or two other features. Has a faster processor. Hey, you ready? Whoa, lights. Has a faster processor, but I don't know that that's like helping out too much. Uh, it also sounds and feels kind of like the motors for the focus like the autofocus motors are a little bit louder than the first g7x was or are so but yeah it's past my bedtime 15 minutes too late so i'm off to bed and i will see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price